I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to the great state of Pennsylvania where we find former fraudator and troublemaker Jessica aka honey boo boo and she cries that she's about ready to get kicked out of her apartment and can't find a place because she has a criminal record well that's not entirely true i think she just wants to garner sympathy and gain money from her subscribers let's all sit back watch have a good laugh and most of all <laughs> Oh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about little Jessica pictured here, a.k.a. Honey Boo Boo. Oh, the poor lass. She has to go to court. She has four felony charges. Oh, dearie me. Well, that's because she listened to people like Chili De Castro and the Long Island Frauditor and Jailbird Joey. And now look where she's at next to nothing now she posted this on her community tab it's now gone she posted it yesterday and it says first amendment audit ruined my life she just got 60 days notice the moment her lease ended and we've been here eight years i just got denied on three different apartments because i have four criminal charges and an upcoming court date i have fines i have legal trouble Auditing ruined my life. Now what? I'll be homeless April 12th with two cats living in my car, all because of auditing. Now, she doesn't say anything about her fiancé here. I feel sorry for the two cats, the poor little kitty cats. Well, let me tell you something, sweet thing, Jessica. If you've truly lived in that apartment or house for the past eight years, you want us to believe that all of a sudden, your landlord has decided to run you through the database and see if you have anything that they need to know about? If you've been living there eight years, you're supposed to be a model tenant. Pay your rent on time. You don't cause problems. Now, did you uh, pay your rent a little bit late? Did you cause problems? Because that's the only reason I can think of that a landlord would run your name through the database to see what's going on with you. So you're not telling us everything, are you? Matter of fact, since you took down the post, I have my suspicions. I think you just put that up there to garner sympathy from people so they'd make donations to you. Yeah. Oh, I got something else, too. But before I put it up here, let's listen to Jessica talk a little bit so you can see just how stupid she is. Roll those clips. And people think I got my, uh, my little law degree, my YouTube law degree. No, dude. I read the Constitution, and not only the con just the United States Constitution, I also read the Pennsylvania Constitution. Like, I'm not just sitting around, like, trying to think of videos or clicks and views. I'm trying to make the world a better place in the only way that I know how. I'm an independent journalist, and I pass my news on to you guys. According to Article 1, Section 7 of the Pennsylvania State Constitution, we have the right to the printing press, which of course is not the printing press anymore. We don't have newspapers anymore, really. But we have YouTube and we have social media. See, they don't understand that I'm very well educated. I got a bachelor's in applied behavioral science with a minor in psychology. I'm not stupid. Oh, yes, indeed. Jessica has a college degree. She's not stupid. Now, where she got that college degree from... Nobody really knows. Was that a diploma mill that you got that from? I don't know. But Chili told her she needs to get arrested a few more times. That's the kind of guy Chili is. Hey, let's listen to Jessica babble some more, shall we? It seemed like the judge, the DA, everyone 
doesn't understand what our constitutional rights are. And I know there's a lot of people who just do this for clicks and views, but I never did. I wanted to change things. And this makes it really, really hard when you go into court. And if I lied on that stand and it was proved in my video that I lied, my ass would be in jail. I would have gotten a perjury charge from that judge. Why am I held at a different standard? Why are the police above the law? Why is everyone on their side above the law? This is the problem. This is part of why I picked up my camera to begin with, because I want to make the world a better place. It's so frustrating, and I'm trying not to cry, because I've given you guys enough crying videos. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I was assaulted by a police officer. You weren't assaulted, sweetheart. You were arrested. Big difference. You'd think after she would have been trespassed a few times, she would have got the message. But no, she kept listening to all her frauditor friends like Jailbird Joey. What the hell does Jailbird Joey know? He's a 50-year-old loser. Anyway, let's take a quick look at when Jessica got arrested for being stupid. Hey, yeah, let's look at it. Who deprives another of their so First please Amendment please rights please is please personally please and please departmentally please subject and suit to, for civil damages. I'm going to sue you. Do you understand that? You're going to go back in there, right? Because that's what you just said. What? You said you were about to go back in there. I was going to, but if you're yeah. making me leave under threat of arrest you can't go back in there. and you're going to violate my rights on camera, that's fine. That's all I need, I guess. They're going to leave? I'll leave, but I mean, you're still violating my rights and breaking the law. Sir, are you law enforcement? Okay. Under threat of arrest. Violation of crime. It's and crime. what, uh, okay, you guys, Pennsylvania State Police, how, where do I go to like file complaints against you guys? You like, where? Supervisor. I agree there right now. Oh, yeah. Could you please call supervisor? Leave. I'd appreciate that. Could you please call supervisor? I will leave under threat of arrest, sir. Well, now you're under arrest. George, disorderly conduct, please. That's what happens when you're a YouTube law expert and you listen to people like Chili and all the rest of those stupid idiots. They've been arrested so many times, they lost count. You are on your way. Well, I don't want to say you got common sense because you really didn't. I think you were forced out of it, weren't you? Now, one more thing before we go, good people. It says here in the second uh, paragraph, I spoke to the store manager at Michael's because I live there now. And guess who has a meeting sponsoring my videos? Yay. Well, I tell you what, you should never post something like that in the community tab because we'll make sure we call Michaels and we'll email Michaels and we'll let them know what kind of person you really are, Jessica. Yeah, well, that's a shame, Jessica. Just when you were getting your career started, whatever that is, I don't know. Guess you'll be living in your car with your cats pretty soon, huh? Well, there you have it, good people. The never-ending saga of Jessica, the former frauditor. Maybe she could call Chili and do a fundraiser so she'd get a new apartment. Oh, dearie me, it's a shame. It's a real shame. But I tell you what, if she's stupid enough to post it on her community tab, I'm stupid enough to put it into a video. What do you think about that, Jessica? You want to come on my channel and debate me? Anytime, sweetheart. Well, not to worry. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel like Honey Boo Boo here, please subscribe. Hey, <laughs> as always, thanks so much for stopping by, Jessica. You should have never became a fraud of the girlfriend. Get a real job. Maybe at Michael's. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400-level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? No, no I'm reason really, to have... I'm really, I'm really unhappy with somebody who did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing yeah. in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. 
You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a it's law? Against the line. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car. I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. 